All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Remington 700 mod, which is being made by user Xcutian777. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is the real-world Remington 700 rifle. And I've been having a whole lot of fun with this particular weapon, and I think it fits in quite nicely into the Commonwealth, as it was a Cold War design designed and produced weapon, I believe, made in the 60s? Don't quote me on that. But yes, let's go take a look at what we do get here with the most standard version of the Remington 700, which will do a base level of 65 damage with a 308 round with a firing rate of 3, range of 275, accuracy of 69, with a weight of 4.9. And as you can see here, it is a beautifully made piece. Very nice on the modeling and texturing. A lot of great detail to it that I very much do appreciate. And does have a pretty decent list of modifications for you to play around with. Now, it is clearly a bolt-action rifle, so you're never going to be able to make anything too crazy, like turning it into a light machine gun. But... There's some fun options there to make it the kind of bolt-action sniper rifle you're wanting to get, which is always good. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely pieces of weaponry, well, you have to go to the chemistry station. Any chemistry station in the world, in fact, and you just go there and head down to the Remington 700 category, where you can make one of these for four oil, four rubber, 12 screws, one spring, eight steel, and five wood. And you'll have yourself a nice new gun. Now, according to the mod page, there aren't really any plans for adding this into the leveled loot list because the hunting rifle already exists. But, uh, yeah, you can at least make it for yourself and your various companions and settlers, which is always good. Now, let's take a look at the modifications we do have for this thing. And, uh, actually, I should quit out of here real quick and go grab one of my rifles I made because, well, there are some additional attachment points you can get depending on what you Bingo. select. And we have had issues in the past with not all of them showing unless you start with the gun in question. So let's go back to the table there and go with uh, this one and start in the receiver category where we have a very short list of just the standard, advanced, powerful, and special. Now after that in barrel, we either have the short, long, or extra. Then for the stocks, we've either got the standard wood, a wooden tactical, or a polymer, and polymer tactical for you to play around with. Then after that in magazine, we have either the standard small or a large magazine. Then in the uh, scopes here, we've, we've actually got quite a lot of fun things here. Uh, we have the aim point, aim point with magnifier on or off, a barska, the iron sight mutant, the night force with burris, night force with burris reflex, Night Force, whatever that one is, and another one with Burris. Then they Schmidt Bender, a USMC Unertil? I don't know how to say that. And a Vortex Crossfire. So we've got a whole lot of fun scopes in here, which is pretty cool. Now, then if that in the muzzle category, we have either the standard nothing, a suppressor, a suppressor special, two lovely compensators, and a muzzle break for you to enjoy. Then after the muzzle, we have the various attachment points, which it's, oh dang, only showing one of them. Like I said, sometimes with the, the system, when you add on a piece that has attachment points, Sometimes it doesn't show correctly, but uh, yes, we have a uh, two side attachments as well as a top attachment rail when you do go with the tactical one here, which allows you to put a flashlight or a laser pointer on either left or right side and the top. Now, we also do have a bipod attachment here as well, which defaults to nothing, but you can also have a bipod open or a bipod not being open for you to uh, throw on there. 
Oh, it's always fun with the Fallout game. It doesn't really like when you add those sorts of attachments. And finally, we have a damage modifier, which uh, you guys know my opinion on these. If done well, I'm cool with it. This one, not done well. It is literally up to a 300% damage increase with absolutely no requirements whatsoever. So kind of an kind of a cheaty thing at least in my opinion but hey if you want to use it have fun it's your game to do with as you wish but yes it does starts with either the standard and goes all the way up to 300 providing quite a lot of damage for this thing let's actually jump over to this other one that i have that also does have the attachment points and nope not showing up for those either Awesome. Gotta love Fallout sometimes. But yes, again, three different rails on the gun. One on the left, right-hand sides, and top for either a flashlight or laser pointer. Now let's go take a look at this thing in action. And at this point, I should actually bring up a requirement. It's not necessarily required, but the bolt action firing mechanism on this rifle is actually on the correct side unlike with the hunting rifle why they did that in the game i don't know so if you do download this gun you can use it but the animation is going to be the standard hunting rifle animation so it's going to be attempting to do a bolt action animation from the left hand side which is weird so it's not technically required but it is good for you to download the battlefield one animation pack hunting rifle edition that way when we do reload it is a proper bolt action uh animation there on the right hand side of the gun but yes that's not necessarily required but otherwise it's kind of awkward looking and yeah let's take some shots And there you go pretty slow firing rate but i mean it is a bolt action gun that's pretty understandable there uh good control on this thing though not a whole lot of kick and with the slow firing rate uh the kick really isn't gonna affect you that much uh, between shots there but all in all a fun little weapon now let's go for uh this one that i made with the uh nice compensator on the end and using one of the more interesting reflex scopes i really really like this one and uh yeah we do have the laser pointer on the left hand side a flashlight on the right i didn't put anything on the top because it got in the way of the reflex view if i did so let's fire Now you can hear on this one, the uh, sound has changed a bit, and I think it was because of the uh, damage multiplier. That's when I personally noticed the sound changing, but it is cool having that higher sound of uh, there. And then finally we have the suppressed one here, which I did do the 300% damage increase. And that number right there of 352 is the highest I was able to get this one up with its damage for all the available modifications. And there we go, a lovely silenced gun there. Very nice, and uh, like I said before, with the low kick, very easy to keep this thing on target with whatever you're trying to shoot at if you do miss or need more than one shot to take it down. But let's, of course, head on over here to our usual test subjects of Randy and Will and test it out on something that's not an inanimate target. And, uh, yeah, let's just head on over here to Will first and, of course, resurrect this poor fool and then... I take him down. One shot with that much damage, of course, it's gonna take him down. Oh, there we go. We'll go to the uh, staggering one there and jump on in with Randy the Rad Stag and bring him back to life to once again be stuck in the door and to also be taken out in one singular shot. These poor animals. And uh, I have been seeing the comments of you people feeling sorry for Randy and Will. Perhaps they have been in this series for too long. Maybe we should replace them with something else. I'm up for suggestions. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this lovely mod today. It is a very cool rifle with a decent amount of modifications 
for you to really have fun with creating the kind of sniper rifle you're wanting to have in the game. It looks good, it's got a lot of fun bits and bobs to it, great details, and is all in all, just a cool Cold War weapon. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a link in the description as per usual. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.